So when I stop comparing myself to other people and really focus on what God was trying to do through me in that situation, I was walking according to God's will. I was able to test and approve what God's will is for me, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. beautiful creations of God this is who made me this is where I'm from and this is who I am welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> where I make it a mission to encourage the body of Christ today I wanted to um, give you guys an example or talk about a verse um, that um, really spoke to me or been speaking to me lately um, this verse is found where this verse is found in women's 12 too it's actually a verse i'm pulling out from my overcoming um sexual temptation series if you have not watched it please do go and watch it right now it's been you know it's honestly one of the <laughs> it's one of those things that happened when i'm like no you know what i'm done enough is enough and i just made like probably like a whole hour um long video and i just cut it into like four series i believe and they're like shorter like maybe like 10 or 20 minutes each um and you know hopefully it blesses you and that it encourages you um regarding sexual temptations but that's not what i'm talking to you about right now Ugh. okay so romans 12 2 says do not conform to the patterns of this world let us stop here what are the patterns of this world what patterns of the world do you think that you are you know conforming yourself into one thing for me was comparison i was comparing myself and i was feeling like i was feeling so guilty just for sharing the word of god i don't know why i don't know why i was feeling so guilty for sharing the word of god but i was like oh lord i feel like i'm doing too much i feel like you know like you know like listen i feel like i'm doing too much these people are probably not reading anything or whatever i just was comparing myself to you know the many the christian youtubers the christian influencers i look up to and i'm just like lord look what they're doing they're helping people da, 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 da. and i'm just like i was just really i felt like i was conforming myself to this pattern of comparison because in christ there's no like you should not be comparing yourself to you know to anybody to um you know to whether it's like influencers or other christian youtubers that you look up to or to the next you know to your best friend or whatever it is i feel like that's just such a thought one another verse that says you know um Ooh, I can't remember. I'll probably put like where the um when it's from, but it says the mind governed on the flesh. The mindset on the flesh is leads to death, but the mindset on the spirit gives life and peace. Listen, I was emotionally dying for comparing myself to other people. I might be extreme, but I was emotionally dying comparing myself to other people that probably don't even know about me, right? Let's but let's just can continue, okay? It says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What then you will know, you will be able to test and approve what God will, what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Uh, which is so good. It's so good. An example I could give you right now, like I was giving is like I was comparing myself to. And then I was like, okay, you know what? Hold up. One of my gifts I know is to encourage other people in the body of Christ, you know, and listen, I do my best, you know, maybe the Lord will lead me along the way, um, like, you know, to, to really like specify how and where I need to, you know, encourage people. But right now it's more like general regarding Bible verses, we, we know, regarding Christ like lifestyle, that's what I do. And so... I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to let my mind dwell on those thoughts of comparing myself to other people that I probably don't even know the struggles that they're going through. Like, you don't even know that they might be going through the worst right now. 
that they, you know they might they might be comparing themselves to somebody else and stuff like that like we don't know what people's lives are actually uh, are actually like behind closed doors right and so i'm like no you know what i'm not gonna let my mind be set on this type of comparison or this type of you know putting myself down all the time i was like no i'm not gonna compare myself anymore i do what i have to do period okay if it's according to the word i'm doing what i have to do period i'm not gonna let the enemy put a foothold in my thoughts period okay and so after that you know i you know i continue to encourage people whether it's on my instagram which if you don't have my instagram here it is and um or you don't you youtube channel or even my community as well i do my best to encourage other people and so i just continue posting and stuff like that until somebody you know well this happens a little bit more you know more often but this one person said listen like thank you so much for posting those verses thank you so much for posting you know um those 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 thoughts or whatever on your um on your instagram because it really was speaking to me i'm like listen i don't have to worry about what other people is doing what god will is for me right now is to encourage other people through this way through this platform or whether whether it's on my instagram that is god's will for me so when i stop comparing myself to other people and really focus on what god was trying to do through me in that situation I was walking according to God's will. I was able to test and approve what God's will is for me, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. I was like, man, like, listen, that's it. Like, when I stop comparing myself to other people, when I stop conforming my thoughts to the patterns of the world, I was renewed. I was refreshed by the Holy Spirit. Because why? Because I knew what I was doing was, you know, was, was working and it was according to god's will one of my elders said like this god god's will for us like we always think like oh god what is your will for me what is will you for what is for what is, what is your will for me what is your will for me and in the future but god will god's will for you right now is for you to you know get to know him better it's for you to stop conforming your thoughts you know to the patterns of the world or stop conforming stop conforming to the patterns of the world whether that's in your thoughts whether that's in your actions whether that's the way you you behave whether that's the way you act with other people those are the ways that you need to stop conforming yourself to the patterns of the world the verse of today says since we are chosen people let us put on patience kindness gentleness that is god's will for us right now in that situation so let us stop think let us stop thinking about oh god what is your will for me and in, in the future what is your will for me in this stop believing and walking god's will right now by reading his word by um by you know spending time with them in prayer and worship in community and fellowshipping with other people you as you continue to walk in that way you will eventually be walking in god's will throughout your whole entire life and i'm telling you guys when i when the lord just basically popped that out or figured that out for me i was like yeah you know what yeah like <laughs> this needs to stop i'm not telling you that's not gonna come back it's probably it probably will come back but it's done it's done it's done it's done so did you see my sister walk by <laughs> just looks like a little shadow <laughs> anyways um so we are going to pray um <laughs> I just want to eat your face. okay so we're gonna pray and i'll leave you guys um on that note heavenly father i thank you so much for the time um that you have given me lord to encourage um your to encourage our generation father god with this verse lord and i ask lord for anybody that's dealing with comparison father god that you may help them to 
stop conforming to the patterns of the world and start being renewed by renewing their mind lord let the holy spirit renew their mind so that they may know what your perfect and good will is for them lord jesus help them to start father god to get to know you right now to start reading about you right now so that they may continue to just walk in their purpose walk in your will lord jesus and stop just stressing too much lord what is your will for me lord what is because we know that you already have that figured out lord but would you open the doors for where there may be such freedom and father god and um and just and just talking and praying and fellowshipping father god that the stress of life the worries of life may not choke us lord jesus i ask father god in the ways that we act and the ways that we behave and the ways that we speak father god that we may not conform to the patterns of the world lord jesus that we may not be prideful father god arrogant jealous envy father god because we know we don't you don't like those things lord jesus but that you may we may be more patient maybe be more kind we may be more gentle father god we may be more loving that's what you ask us to do lord we may preach to all the nations your good and loving word lord jesus that you may father god just sow in the seed father god in their hearts lord that you may work in them because i know you are working salvation in the midst of the earth lord i ask father god that you may encourage these people I ask that you may guide them and continue to be with them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I love you guys so much. And I pray that you may have a bless, um, another blessed week. And join me back to another video next week. And I, I'm just really happy that you got to hear my message today. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Instagram, or subscribe to my channel if you would like. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Mwah!